Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Cool at 100X. Make sure you get yourself a Tay Rick T-shirt and get the full phone on your back. Available at Express Shirt. Link will be in the description below. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Kool Aid Man 100X. How you guys doing? Welcome back to another tutorial video of NBA 2K18, and I'm using my boy Tay Rick with the full phone on his back. Yeah, <laughs> I'm about to show you guys the best moving behind the back moves that you can do for your my player, and definitely help you to get better in NBA 2K, and also get better in the park and pro am, and so on and so on. So I hope these tips will help you out, and I choose the best. So I have a list here that will help you out to choose from the best ones I pick and the best ones that I help you with your combination moves. So I'm gonna go to six moves, the best moving behind the back. And two more. And the first one I'm going to go over is basic two, which would be basic two. And we got a nice behind the back here with the nice move behind the back. As you can see here, it's very quick and smooth and you can do a lower one as well. And it's also add to the move that's behind the back so you won't lose the ball this quick. The next one is going to be normal one. Normal one is very cool and very quick a card, depending on what type of player you got. I wouldn't recommend this for tall players. I recommend this for shorter players. Anybody above 6'5", I would go something else. Anybody lower than 6'5", this would be perfect for you. So you'd be able to maneuver between the double teams and coming down the middle of the court on fast break moves. The next one is going to be normal two. Normal two is very good and definitely quick off his feet as well. So when you're coming down corner on a fast break, you need to make that quick move. That behind the back right there is very quick to do. And you don't have to worry about losing the ball at all either. Unless you have a player on the side of you and you're trying to double team but between them. But you can definitely go in between them if you know how to utilize the stick correctly. Um, the next one is going to be pro one. I'm gonna recommend Pro Run. Pro One is very quick as usual as two as the last one I just showed you. It's very quick and I recommend this for shorter players too as well. If you got above a 90 speed, this is the move for you and you'll be able to go down court and cut up the court very quickly with this move. The next one is going to be Pro 2. Pro 2 is very cool. It's depending on the move last year, it's very quick too as well. And I like the stop that he do to cut it off so he won't want, so you can fake a little bit and you can definitely make them fall with that type of move. The next one is going to be Pro 3. Pro 3 is pretty much from last year. It's very wild and crazy, but I will recommend using it if you're trying to be flashy up and down the corner. You want to try something new. So I recommend being adjusted to this because you will lose the ball if you're in a pile of people coming down the middle of the court. Um, the next one is going to be Pro 5. Pro 5 is pretty much the one from last year. I think Elite 5 or Elite 4 or Elite 6. I think this was Elite 5, I believe. That behind the back is very deadly and is very quick. I would recommend not doing this coming down the court excessively because you will mess around and hit the player's foot or leg and you will lose the ball. And I do recommend as a steal in 2K that never fixed. And the last one is going to be Pro 6. Now, everybody remember Pro 6 from last year, man. Everybody used to use this. I think it was Elite 6, I believe, or something else. If I'm correct, leave it in the comments below. But this was the basic move everybody was using last year that uh, add to the combination from last year. So they bring it back this year, but change it up just a little bit, add a little bit more movers to it and coming down court with it a little bit faster. So I hope this Elite moves help you out and help you out to take this to the park and show them what time it was and also Pro-Am as well, another game modes too. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the click on the end screen that's available to you right about now. <laughs> also, make sure you get your Tay Rick t-shirt and the Red C t-shirt to represent the movement and Tay Rick as well. So you can wear the full phone on your back easy. Also, guys, make sure you click the eye in the upper right hand corner to watch other playlists that's available on the channel as well. Also, guys, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter. All my links will be in the description below. If you have any other video ideas or any any other tips that you want me to go over, leave it in the comments below. And I do not mind answering questions. And you can hit me up on my social media as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Deuces.